Hey everybody, Cynical Manor here, and today we're going to be showing how to drop conventional bombs, retarded bombs, or bombs with parachutes, and uh, also some nuclear bombs. Um, first thing we're going to do, we're going to show how to drop conventional bombs. So if you look on the outside of the aircraft, we've got uh, on the inner pylons we've got two FAB 250s, and on the outer pylons we have uh, two of the retarded bombs. So the way to set this up is uh, you're going to go up here first uh, to your HUD and you're going to set up your missile and rockets going to be down and your uh, the second switch here the bombardment shooting is going to be down to bomb and we're going to leave the third one up to auto. We'll come over here to our selection wheel and we're going to go to one to two. Uh, that's our inner pylons and that's where our FAB 250s are. You could do three or four, and that's the outer pylons, or one through four is going to drop every bomb you have on the aircraft. Uh, but right now we're going to use the one to two. Uh, on the air to gun selector, we're going to go gun, and on the second uh, selector, we're going to put that to neutral. Okay, and then we're going to look down here by the, uh, the joystick, and we'll uh, remove the flag and hit armed. This is your armament switch for bombs. You'll have a red light that comes on. And now we're ready to drop bombs. So before we get into that, the first thing we want to do, let me look outside the cockpit here. You can see that X right in front of us. That's our target. Uh, when we go to dive down, we're going to keep the target in the left hand side, left or right, just so you can see where you're rolling into. We're going to roll into the target, reduce throttle to idle. You'll have your, you'll have to be at about a 40 degree dive. Uh, you'll see your pipper start to come up here because notice the pipper is not here right now. So the pipper will come up, and uh, wherever the pipper is touching, and you, when you do your weapon release, uh, we'll drop the bombs. And the way we're going to drop that is if we go to controls and we hit the weapon weapon release button, uh, you'll see. Then I've got that bound, but that's how we're going to drop the bombs. So we're going to come out of active pause. I'm going to give her a little throttle here, full throttle actually. I'm going to roll to the right because my target's straight ahead of us. And we're just trying to keep that target in perspective here. We're going to reduce thr throttle to idle. We're going to roll in using a little bit of left rudder. Get about a 40 degree dive here. Roll on out. There's our pipper coming up. We're going to go ahead and bombs away, full throttle pulling up. There's where our bombs hit. As you can see. So while we're pulling out of this, we'll go ahead and switch over to three and four. That's our outer pylons. If I can uh, work the uh, thing here. And we're going to reduce power. We're going to come back over. And on these, you can just do like a regular strafe and run when you're running over those. swing back around here and come over the targets and just drop those bad boys main thing you want to watch out for when you're dropping the conventional bombs that you don't get too low because it will destroy your aircraft. Um, so we're going to come back over. I'm going to go out towards the ocean here. Swing back in and uh, let's do a flat pass and drop those retarded bombs off. Yeah, we're going to go 
don't want to pull too hard because they will come off the wings. Alright, so we're going to come over here. And you notice that uh, our pepper should show up, but it didn't. And there's our retarded bombs there flying down. We're probably going to crash in our aircraft, but that's okay. I'm just showing you how to drop these bombs. So we got a little bit of it there, and we didn't crash, that's good. But that's how you drop those. Now, when you're coming back through, I uh, kind of rushed it, but you see how the pipper's coming up? Don't follow that pipper when you're dropping these retarded bombs, because if you do, you're going to drop them too early. You kind of want to make sure that your plane is completely over the center of the target uh, and drop them then. All right, so the next thing we'll move on to is the nuclear bomb. So I'll be with you shortly and we'll go over that. All right, so we're back in our MiG-21 again and we've got old Betsy down here, our nuclear bomb. This is a uh, the R-24, I believe that's what it's called. Um, but <clears throat> I'll show you how to do that. Now, when, you, when you're dropping nuclear bombs, you get a whole different panel here. Don't worry about all this junk over here. We'll go to ground just to show it's going to drop. Um, and we will put our put this down here to bomb like we did before. But don't worry about the selector. Uh, we'll put this in neutral just, just for giggles. But uh, don't worry about the selector because it has nothing to do with dropping a nuke. Okay? You don't have to go down here and arm anything either because your armament panel is right here. So we're going to go ahead and do a normal drop on the center selection. Spec B is where we're going. And we're going to arm mode uh, jet. So we're going to put that to arm. That's going to be able to allow us to drop the bomb. And you see that the fuse is on. Okay, so same target location that we were at before. What we're going to do, we're going to fly over a low at, uh, I don't know, probably about 800... Uh, kilometers an hour. We'll fly over low. Once we get the target directly under us, we'll pull up full afterburner um, and we'll go to about 110 degrees. Once you're at 110 degrees, we'll release the weapon, roll on out, and get away from it. That way um, we don't get any nuclear uh, explosion that kills us as well. You cannot drop a nuclear weapon like a conventional bomb. If you do, uh, you won't live to uh, make it home. Uh, so we're, this is a, more of a toss than it is um, kind of a drop. But uh, what we're going to do, we're going to come out on active pause now. Go ahead and spool her up. To about 95% uh, about or so. Let's see if we get our target in range here. I'm trying to look for the target. And I see it. And as you notice, we're pretty low to the deck. About 1,500 feet or so off the deck. Alright, so there's our target there. Now you'll drop this the same way with the weapon release. So we're going to come over the target here. And it's still smoking from where we dropped those bombs earlier. full afterburner now. Start pulling up. And do a gradual pull. You don't want to do uh, anything real big because you will drop the bomb by accident. So we're at 80 percent. We're rolling and we're gonna release. So if we release that take a look at it there it is so it's going to be kind of looking like it's going up and we're rolling out and we're going to get on out of here so we're still full afterburner we're bouncing we want to get away from that blast so we'll go back to the bomb here and here she comes and she looks like she's going to be on target here. 
So she's coming down. Let's go back to our plane, just make sure we're okay here. Alright, so coming down, well, we're a little bit off, but not a big deal. It's a nuke. We'll kill them all. And boom! And you can see... I thought maybe you'd see the crater. Hmm. But yeah, you can see everything blowing up down there. Uh, we had some planes in the air, some enemy planes. <laughs> They're exploding over. So it's gotten everything. Even way out there, you can see uh, some little buildings and things that are dying. So um, we'll just turn around here. And take a look at the uh, devastation we'll fly over in there. Still killing things on the ground. But it's not too hard. Uh, if you follow those steps to do that toss, um, it's not very hard to get on target and uh, destroy everything there. So we're coming in to look at this. I'm trying to see. Oh, yeah, there's a crater. You can see it through the front glass. Let me go uh, out and see a view here. Yeah, what a crater, huh? Everything's destroyed. Even the city's on fire. So, unfortunately, we don't get the uh, the mushroom cloud like uh, like in a real nuke, but uh, just because it's not animated. But we do get the nice crater. Everything's destroyed. City's destroyed. So, even way out here, look, we got fires way out here. So. It uh, took some stuff out big time. So hopefully that does a little explanation on how to drop bombs and nuclear weapons. And um, helps you out. So remember to give me a like and subscribe. And uh, leave me a comment or two. And we'll see you next time. You have a good one.